Well, in about an hour from now, Governor Greg Abbott is set to speak in Conroe. He's going to be talking about a parent's ability to choose where their child will go to school. It's commonly known as the school voucher program. Yeah, but this has faced some backlash and confusion on what the program actually entails. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is live in Conroe, breaking down what this could mean for parents. Liliana. Yeah, school vouchers have been highly debated here in Texas for years, but none of them have ever been able to make it through and become a law. This as urban versus rural politicians argue whether they're worth it or not. One side saying that it's a parent's right to choose where their child goes to school. Another side saying this is taking money away from the public school system. And while there's currently no legislation that's ready to be voted into law, we still wanted to take a look at what some of this proposed legislation would offer to parents and guardians. So today, I dug into two highly debated pieces of proposed legislation. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at House Bill 557 and what it's promising to parents and guardians as it stands today. House Bill 557 was introduced by Republican Representative Cody Vost and is labeled as an education expense reimbursement program. But what does that mean? As the bill currently stands, there are four pages outlining that a payment may be paid back for tuition and fees at a state accredited private school or online education class. Included in that would be textbooks and other education material, standardized testing, fees for classes and other education expenses provided by public schools, transportation to and from school, and for private tutors. Plus, if a child has disabilities, the bill also says parents can be reimbursed for educational therapies. To be paid back, parents would need a receipt for each allowed expense. But how much money are we talking about? Here's how the House bill says it will break down. Parents or guardians will get one payment a year that comes out to the same amount that parent spends in state and local sales taxes during a year. According to the Census Bureau, the average Texas resident pays just over $5,000 in state and local sales taxes a year. Figure that to be around half the cost of the average price of Texas private school tuition alone, around $9,000, according to educationdata.org. But there's plenty that's still unclear as as the bill is up for debate. When would a voucher program be able to go into effect? Where would the money ultimately come from? How would parents apply for funding? Because this bill hasn't gone far enough, the comptroller's office tells me it's way too early to say how the details would work. And again, the comptroller's office who I spoke to today says that because this proposed legislation is so early in the process, they haven't conducted a fiscal note, so they're unable to say just how much this program would cost or if their office is even able to handle the new program. And ahead at 630, we're going to be taking a look at Senate Bill 167 as it's aiming to create an education saving program. In Conroe, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.